वेलकम टू साइंस स्टोर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस forget to like our video and subscribe our youtube channel for all the updates hello dear students and welcome to cet jwe classes of uh, linear inequalities uh, we are in the question number 13 uh, well uh, this question includes modulus right so this question has to be treated differently and you have to find the common region okay so uh, you have uh, uh, addition of two modulus functions and both must be uh, when you take both of these all right so that quantity must be greater than 3 well uh, see the easiest way you can do is eliminating the options so this is minus infinity comma minus 2 okay and uh, union 1 comma infinity you put any number greater than 1 2 so 2 plus 1 3 and here 2 so obviously it happens uh, what about 0 if you put 1 plus 0 no so doesn't happen uh, less than minus 2 minus 3 if you put minus 2 mod minus 2 is 2 and minus 3 so that will be greater mod minus 3 is 3 3 plus 2 5 so uh, this actually happens what about here so what if uh, you take uh, uh zero okay so this includes zero right minus 1 0 1 2 1.9 uh, is there 2 is not there okay so this includes zero if you put zero then 1 plus 0 is not greater than 3 so this is not true correct so what about here here also zero is there none of these this actually works so this is the answer actually but how to get that answer see in the exam you can just eliminate the options and check put some values and check you will get it easily you don't have to solve it okay but if you want to know the reason you will know the reason well so let's begin uh see now there is a technique uh, to solve this take uh, x plus 1 is equal to 0 you will get x is equal to minus 1 right and uh, if you take x is equal to 0 so you will get x is equal to 0 so x is equal to 0 and minus 1 are critical points all right so just like uh, when you uh, deal uh, with the maximum minimum okay uh, you will talk about critical points uh, even when you talk about uh, increasing decreasing function to find the interval you will talk about the critical points okay so now this these critical points divide the real line into okay our critical points uh, they divide the real line uh, into different intervals all right so what are the intervals understand you have the real line zero Minus infinity to plus infinity, not a definite number, but just for understanding, I am writing that. Okay, now you have zero, well, and minus one, so minus one here. So what are the intervals? See, this is the first interval, second interval, and the third interval. All right. So one is minus minus infinity comma minus one. First interval, and second interval is minus one comma zero. and the third interval is 0 comma infinity all right so when you have uh, three intervals you can take three different cases and then find the common region and then you can uh, get the answer so let's start with the uh, getting the common region uh, see you have got the critical points now we'll do it separately so first uh, you Take case one. So in the first case, 
in the first case that means in uh, less than minus infinity and uh, less than minus 1 okay so in this case in this case what happens uh, to modulus of x plus 1 all right so you have modulus of x plus 1 so now now you take that greater than 3 and if x is between minus 1 and my uh, minus infinity and minus 1 okay you can put minus 2 here right all right so uh, what happens to x plus 1 yeah what happens to x plus 1 if that is less than minus 1 imagine minus 2 or minus 3 or minus 4 or minus 5 put minus 2 here minus 2 plus 1 is uh, minus 1 mod is 1 correct so that will be positive right x plus 1 will be positive right so x plus 1 will be positive and what about mod x if x is less than minus 1 uh, put minus 2 here so if you put minus 2 that will be 2 itself correct all right so this quantity must be taken as a okay so if uh, x is minus 2 what happens to x plus 1 minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 less than 0 so x plus 1 will be less than 0 so if x plus 1 is less than 0 understand the definition of this is right so if x is less than 0 then mod x is minus x correct so if this quantity is less than 0 then what is the definition of modulus of it negative of x plus 1 right and uh, if you take uh, x is equal to minus 2 or minus 3 anything what about x minus 2 that is also negative correct so that is also negative here well so you have to take minus and that should be greater than 3 all right well so the next interval is minus 1 comma 0 0 to infinity well now simplify this this is minus x minus 1 minus uh, x so that is minus 2x minus 1 this is minus 3 greater than 0 so minus 2x uh, or you can uh, take this minus 1 that side so minus 2x is greater than 4 so if you divide by minus 2 then inequality reverses okay so if you divide by minus 2 here 4 by minus 2 is minus 2 here so x is less than minus 2 so now get this clearly you have minus 1 and minus infinity here so you are talking about this interval and uh, x should be minus 1 and x should be x should be less than minus 1 and x should be less than minus 2 also okay so from here it must be less so one region so one region is this one region is this all right so all these values and the second region is from here less than minus 2 so till minus infinity of course so these values all these values so what is the common region the common region is minus infinity okay so from minus infinity till minus 2 you cannot go here because that's not the common region so both must satisfy therefore when you combine both these things uh, what do you get x belongs to minus infinity till minus 2 that is from the first case in the same way you have to solve the second case so second case is uh, 
let me write the first case answer the first case answer we got x belongs to minus infinity comma minus 2 now let's go to the second case so what is the second case minus 1 comma 0 is it not if you remember okay so case 2 x is between minus 1 to 0 then what happens to this mod x plus 1 plus mod x greater than 3 okay so this is a very tedious job so instead of that you can directly go for the options and eliminate okay so that's what you will do in the exam because you have to answer within one minute okay you can't keep on doing this but this is just to understand the method of getting that answer all right so uh, given any question how to do it all right so if the options are given it's very easy so in ct just have to check each option whether that satisfies the given in equation if it satisfies that's the answer all right so that's a very easy thing to do uh, but here you have to solve for example next question you can't eliminate the options okay the solutions intervals are not given there you have to solve right so there are some questions where you need to solve okay well now come back to this if x is between minus 1 to 0 if x is between minus 1 to 0 what point you can put minus half so minus half or any point in between that is a is your reference point so put minus half here so if you put minus half what happens to this that will be half positive right so x plus 1 is positive if x is minus half so if that is positive then you can write it as x plus 1 itself okay you can write it as mod x can be x so mod x plus 1 can be x plus 1 and similarly uh, if you are taking minus half here so x is a minus half which is less which is less so that will be minus x okay so that is negative correct well now now continue from here so this is greater than 3 uh, simplify this x plus 1 minus uh, x uh, uh, greater than 3 right so x will cancel this is meaningless correct so uh, that is not uh, possible because you are getting 1 greater than 3 it is not possible it is meaningless we are not getting x value itself because x is cancelling x can be any value here x can be any value all right so uh, it's not possible for anything 1 will be greater than 3 which is meaningless okay for any value of x so we are not able to get the right value of x so this case is of no use for us so neglect it now go to the next case case 3 and there you might get another region then we have to find the common region then we can find the uh, common region well uh, now go to the third case the third case is between 0 to positive infinity well now what happens to this x plus mod x plus 1 plus mod x understand x is greater than 0 clearly if x is greater than 0 mod x is x so that is x itself what about x plus 1 if x is greater than 0 if x is greater than 0 you can take 1 2 3 4 i'll take 2 so 2 plus 1 is 3 so x plus 1 understand if x is 2 what is x plus 1 2 plus 1 3 greater than 0 right if you take 1 greater than 0 if you take 0 0.1 greater than 0 right 0 0.1 that is also positive so x plus 1 is positive therefore what is mod x plus 1 x plus 1 itself you don't have to take minus because that is positive so greater than 3 now simplify this this is the easy thing now uh, see what you get here is 2x greater than 3 minus 1 so 2x is greater than 2 x is greater than 1 okay so if x is uh, greater than 1 1 to infinity but you have to consider this 
as well so combining these two combining these two what do you get x is let's understand the region so real line will help you always graphically if you understand that's the best way of doing it see you have zero till infinity that's the white region now what's your purple region purple region is greater than one so you have one here and greater than one equal to is not there therefore not closed bracket open bracket itself and greater than one this region okay so here white region is this now what's your common region the common region does not include this the common region is this correct so that's your common region right so that is from 1 to infinity therefore x belongs to 1 comma infinity so that is from this third case now you have first case and the third case so both of these you must combine so when you combine both of these uh, cases all right so graphically again again understand graphically so now you are combining these two things okay so when you combine these two things you have uh, one to infinity okay and then you have got uh, minus two to minus infinity all right so these two things these two things are there so that uh, when you combine that when you combine uh, which region do you get which region do you get so either either you can have the first region that is minus infinity comma minus 2 x may belong here or x might belong here understand now so you have this originally check if it satisfies you put minus 3 so if you put minus 3 what happens okay so this is minus 2 and this is uh, mod minus 3 is 3 so 2 plus 3 is 5 greater than 3 or not so satisfies any value of x in that region yes and what if what if x is in this region 2 so if we put 2 then it is 2 plus 1 and here it is 2 so 3 plus 2 that's also 5 greater than 3 correct okay so both these regions satisfy or not yes so x can be in minus infinity comma minus 2 or or is union it can be in 1 comma infinity therefore option a is the right choice i hope you understood eliminating was easy right okay but still if you need the detailed proof here it is well now let's move to the 14th question Look at the 14th question. You have the system of inequalities. Okay. Have how many solutions? System of inequalities means you must consider both and both must happen. So it is and in between them. Correct. Okay. So both must happen at the same time. So you have to find the common region of both uh, these x values. Okay. Both must satisfy. That's the meaning of system of inequalities have how many solutions okay so it's a common value of x which satisfies both inequalities well let's begin with the first one you have got x divided by 2x plus 1 greater than or equal to 1 by 4 correct now what are you going to do will you take this 2x plus 1 here no you can't because you don't know whether this quantity is positive or negative if it was negative then this would reverse right so you are not sure therefore are you going to keep it the same way or reverse it you are not sure you can't do it uh, you have a confusion what to do so therefore don't go for it don't take it to the other side all right so that means you don't multiply and divide by that 
or you don't multiply on both sides i'm sorry you don't multiply it on both sides so what what you'll do you'll bring that minus 1 by 4 here i mean 1 by 4 here which becomes minus here okay so you bring that 1 by 4 to the other side left hand side and what remains is 0 because you are subtracting 1 by 4 on both sides so when you subtract positive or negative quantity inequality does not change now go for the lcm the lcm is 4 into 2x plus uh, 1 so 4 must be multiplied here and 2x plus 1 must be multiplied here so that should be positive or 0 now simplify this this is 4x minus 2x minus 1 if you multiply this minus sign and here you have a 4 into 2x plus 1 which is greater than or equal to 0 now this is 2x minus 1 so 2x minus 1 divided by uh, now look at this 4 is a positive quantity so that 4 can be taken to the other side that means you can multiply by 4 here okay and you can multiply by 4 here so that gets cancelled that becomes 0 okay so this is uh, 2x plus 1 are you allowed to multiply by 4 yes because it is a positive quantity and it does not change your inequality uh, let's uh, uh, continue now you have got a fraction and that needs to be positive so what are your choices either both are positives correct okay so 2 by 4 or both are negative minus 2 by minus 4 so if you have minus 2 by minus 4 still that will be 2 by 4 half so it will be positive or not yes it will be all right so that is one thing the second thing is since this is a fraction 2x plus 1 cannot be 0 okay so if 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 then uh, you don't have that fraction itself it won't be defined it won't be defined therefore that condition also must be taken into consideration so you have got two things i mean three things here so what are those three things three outcomes of this one is the denominator cannot be zero which means x cannot be minus one by two okay so that is one thing the second thing is when this becomes positive either both are positive okay so 2x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 or and okay so either this both are positive or numerator is positive and the denominator is also positive now you don't write equal to 0 because that is not equal to 0 okay so equal to 0 you can have in the numerator denominator you cannot please note that point please note that point that is because of this okay so otherwise we could write the same inequality we don't have to write that or or what's your next option both can be negative okay so less than 0 or maybe equal to 0 the numerator and denominator is also negative if both are negative then still your answer will be positive so these are the two outcomes that we have now let's just simplify it so when you simplify it what are you going to get you will get from the first one okay so both these things are combined uh, well so if you go with this so what do you get x is greater than or equal to minus 1 becomes plus 1 here and 2 can be divided and here x is greater than minus half that's the first thing right so understand graphically you have greater than or equal to half so half up to infinity and greater than greater than minus half so minus half here and it must be greater than so it must be greater than equal is not there so open and till infinity so 
infinity is common for both okay infinity is never included open bracket itself so what is your common region common region is this okay common region is from half to infinity therefore therefore out of these two what we understand x belongs to half comma infinity or so what is the second thing that you have the second thing that we have so x is less than or equal to half and x is less than minus half now how about this so you have got half and minus half okay so it should be less than or equal to half so less than or equal to half is this right so till minus infinity and it should be less than minus half so it should be less than minus half so which is your common region common region is this okay so minus infinity comma minus half so minus infinity comma minus half is the next region well and uh, is it included minus half is not included here uh, half is included greater than or equal to i'm sorry so this is closed i'm sorry well now now this is or either that happens or this happens so how do you combine them is it the common region no it is not and in between them it is or in between them so union of both so combining these two solutions what do we get what do we get from the first inequality is uh, therefore x belongs to therefore x belongs to uh, minus infinity comma minus half uh, union half to infinity okay so that's the first solution so i'll write that on the top and then continue with the second inequality so first solution is from uh, minus infinity to minus half union uh, half to infinity well now go to the second inequality you have got 6 x minus uh, i mean divided by 4 x minus 1 less than half so once again do the same procedure i know it takes time it takes time yes so now uh, bring that uh, to the other side less than 0 so take lcm so this will be 12 minus uh, 4x plus 1 because this should be multiplied here minus and minus will be plus uh, divided by you have got 2 4x minus 1 less than 0 so if you multiply by 2 right so that 2 will cancel and you will get uh, 12x minus 4x 8x plus 1 divided by 4x minus 1 must be less than 0 uh, well uh, now once again the same uh, procedure okay so either see when this will be negative you want both negative i mean the total fraction must be negative right the first condition is that 4x minus 1 should not be 0 that means x is not equal to uh, 1 by 4 right so x should not be 1 by 4 uh, well enough you have either the first is negative and the second is positive numerator is negative denominator is positive or the numerator is po negative denominator is positive okay if one of them is negative the total fraction is negative correct so either uh, 8x Uh, plus 1 is positive and 4x minus 1 is negative 
okay it's not equal to zero so uh, no need to worry about that now uh, or uh, you have got uh, 8x plus 1 negative and 4x minus 1 positive well so that makes the whole fraction negative uh, well working with the first one we understand x should be greater than minus 1 by 8 and uh, x uh, must be less than 1 by 4 so combining these two you have uh, greater than minus uh, 1 by 8 and less than 1 by 4 right okay so what is the implication of this the implication of this is x belongs to minus 1 by 8 to 1 by 4 well now uh, work with the second so the second is uh, x uh, should be less than minus 1 by 8 and and so and is important here x uh, should be greater than 1 by 4 now is this possible so minus 1 by 8 1 by 4 so it should be less than minus 1 by 8 greater than 1 by 4 so do you get the common region this is we are talking about and it's not or okay please keep that in mind so if it is and both must satisfy so do you get one value of x which satisfies both no you don't get so this case is not possible so when you write not possible and when you write union if you have or you can write minus infinity comma minus 1 by 8 union 1 by 4 comma infinity you can write with union if you have or but if you have and you cannot write with intersection don't think about that okay you have to find the common region which satisfies both these inequalities so do you get a single value of x which satisfies both no you don't get if it was or then either that x would satisfy this or it would satisfy the other then it is accepted now it is not accepted so that is not possible at all so ultimately from the second inequality what is the solution we get solution is only one because this case is not possible so from the second thing we got the solution that is uh, x belongs to minus 1 by 8 comma 1 by 4 so that's the second thing that we got well so what does that tell you the system of inequalities have okay now what is the common region both must satisfy in the beginning of this question i told you right a single value of x must satisfy both these regions now tell me let's go with the real line okay so you have minus infinity till minus half all right so that is the the white region and uh, half till infinity white region so that is from the first inequality now the second inequality the second inequality all right so that tells you that x should be between minus 1 by 8 minus half is here minus 1 by 8 will be somewhere here all right so minus 1 by 8 uh, open and 1 by 4 so 1 by 4 is here okay so that's the region so do you get a common region okay so do you get a common region if it was here then that would be the common region correct so you don't get any common region here you are getting the second inequality in the forbidden region here this is forbidden for the first one right so you are getting the second inequality in the vacant place here there is no common region between them therefore you don't have any solution you don't have any solution you don't have any single value of x which will satisfy both the inequalities all right so that's about this question and uh, uh, let's move on to the 15th so 15 doesn't take much time that's a very simple thing we'll see how we can do that
well coming to the 15th question 15th question uh, you have got two cases depending on the modulus all right so here we have got x minus 2 divided by x uh, modulus of x minus 2 divided by x minus 2 must be positive or equal to 0 okay so here the first case is that x minus 2 cannot be equal to 0 right so that means x cannot be 2 understand here x minus 2 cannot be 0 denominator should not be 0 then this whole quantity is not defined it won't be defined at all so that means that means x uh, cannot be equal to 2 so if 2 is included any of the intervals see what do you mean by this here 2 is included 2 is also one of the values of x uh, so this cannot be the answer okay because x cannot be equal to 2 and uh, here also 2 is included that also cannot be the answer so we are left with only b and c okay so you can directly put some values and check let's see how so 2 comma infinity right so 2 to infinity so put 3 so if you put 3 here 3 minus 2 is 1 right so this will be mod 1 divided by 1 which is 1 greater than or equal to 0 right so this satisfies actually so what about this uh, less than 2 so that means you can put 1 0 and all so easiest thing is 0 if you put 0 mod minus 2 divided by minus 2 mod minus 2 is 2 divided by minus 2 you will get minus 1 is it greater than or equal to 0 it is not greater than or equal to 0 so that does not satisfy so the answer is b all right answer is b so that's the way you can understand analyze but but if you need a proper answer there are two different answers okay one is the short one is the little lengthier now the first thing is the denominator cannot be zero one thing secondly look at the numerator it is modulus will be always positive correct we need this fraction to be positive Mod, uh, numerator is already positive so what is the only doubt we have about the denominator so if the denominator becomes negative then the fraction is negative if the denominator is positive then the whole fraction will be positive so it only depends on the denominator and we need the total quantity to be positive that means our denominator must be essentially positive so if you need this total quantity all right so this is already positive or maybe equal to 0 therefore since this is positive the denominator also must be positive and it cannot be equal to 0 that means x must be greater than 2 so what do you mean by x is greater than 2 so it's not equal once again because it cannot be equal to 0 keep that in mind okay so it must be open interval so it must be between 2 to infinity all right so that's what we said in this that is one proof all right so the other proof is case wise so what is this case wise that is from the definition of modulus so it is minus x if x is less than 0 it is uh, plus x if x is greater than or equal to 0 now the first case case 1 imagine x minus 2 is uh, greater than or equal to 0 all right so it cannot be equal to 0 because denominator cannot be 0 so it must be strictly greater than 0 that means x should be greater than 2 right then what happens to the numerator then if this is positive then modulus of that quantity look at this if x is positive then mod x is x so if x minus 2 is positive then mod x minus 2 is x minus 2 and divided by x minus 2 that will be 1 will be greater than or equal to 0 right okay so uh, if you need that to be positive 
then you are getting 1 greater than or equal to 0 is true happens therefore what's your solution 2 comma infinity from this correct because of that x must be greater than 2 and the second case the second case what if x minus 2 is negative all right it can be negative right yes it can be but not equal to 0 then x should be less than 2 okay so less than 2 minus infinity to 2 that's what we are talking about now in this case numerator will be negative of x minus 2 because if x is less than 0 mod x is minus x so if x minus 2 is less than 0 mod x minus 2 is minus x minus 2 simple logic divided by x minus 2 right and that should be greater than or equal to 0 uh, which means minus 1 should be greater than or equal to 0 not possible it's not true so x cannot be less than 2 x cannot be less than 2 so minus infinity comma 2 is not possible therefore only option is 2 comma infinity well so this is about question number 15 and that uh, is uh, enough for this class uh, we conclude this class with this question number 15 uh, in the next class we will continue to solve questions uh, which are similar to these okay but uh, uh, from a different point of view well so thank you for watching don't forget to like our video and subscribe our youtube channel for all the updates